Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. We are setting off on another exciting journey. Uh, our train is at 6.15, so we are leaving right now. The time is 4.25 and we are setting off for Howrah and from there we will be taking our train. Stay tuned for further updates and to know where we are actually traveling. As you can see it's still dark outside and it's just 4 30 right now and we are leaving for Howrah. We left for Howrah before the sunrise as we had an early morning train to reach our destination. So we have reached Howrah station and waiting for our friends to come and join us. Uh, we will be boarding our train pretty soon. Uh, stay tuned. There is something so pretty about chilly winter mornings, right? Everything is slowed down, people are just... But on the station, it's always hustle and bustle. And due to the chill, you would expect people to, you know, just um, be covered up so here I am all covered up from head to toe and here is this other person who does not feel cold at all so right now we are standing in front of uh, I don't know if it's visible the big clock um, Borogodi as they say uh, at Howrah station and we are waiting for our friends once they arrive we will go to the platform we are here and we are getting on the train. Catch you in a bit. So we are going to board the Black Diamond Express. Uh, basically we are going to Gorponchakot. Uh, we will be boarding this train 22387 from uh, Aura station and we will be going till Asansol and from there uh, we have already booked a car, we have hired a car uh, which will take us to Gorbonchagot. And that's the scene, we will be experiencing Purulia with us. Tagged as one of the oldest known districts known in West Bengal. Purulia has a rich culture and heritage to look back at. According to the Jain Bhagavati Sutra, the place existed as early as 5th century and was one of the 16 Mahajanapads of its time. So we have finally reached Kumadubi and from here we will be taking our cab which is already booked and it's on its way to pick us.
Panchet Dam, an engineering marvel situated on the Damodar River, stands as a testament to post independence India's ambitious hydroelectric and flood control projects. Completed in 1959, it is one of the four dams constructed under the Damodar Valley Corporation initiative. Our stay at Purulia is going to be at the Gorponchoko WBFTC Nature Resort. Till 1750s, Gorponchokot was the historical capital for the Shingdeo dynasty of the region, who were originally hailed from Rajasthan. In this landscape, at the foothills of the dense, naturally forested Gorponchokot hill, the Gorponchokot Prokriti Bhraman Kendro of WBFDC was inaugurated in the 90s in Bagmara village to cater and facilitate ecotourism activities. The resort provides a beautiful view of forest-covered Gorponchakot Hills. The resort consists of AC rooms with attached bath and equipped with all modern amenities and facilities like children's play area, AC lounges, car parking, etc. The resort also has its own restaurant. The guests can enjoy the nearby tourist attractions like Panchit Dam, Joychundi Pahar, Baranti Lake, Maithon Dam, along with Ponchako Dynasty Ruins. Tourists can also make a day plan to visit the other side of Purulia, the Ajodha Hill region, which we explored the next day. One can easily reach the resort by road from Kolkata via Asansol or by train getting off at Kumar Dubi or Borakor for Eastern Railway and Adra for Southeastern Railway to explore Gorponcho. The undulating terrain along with curved and winding pathways adds a rustic charm to the place. We just had our lunch and now we are going to see what lake was that? Baranti. Baranti Lake and after that we'll be going to the Gaur Ponchakot uh -huh. uh, mountain, Gaur Ponchakot Pahar and from there we'll be seeing the sunset. We were told that the sunset from Gaur Ponchakot Pahar is beautiful so we'll experience that now. We don't know how the weather will be, so it's really foggy and uh, you know not a very good weather for sunset view. But let's see what we have in store. Yeah. The ruins of the Ponchakot Palace are a silent testimony to the Borgi attack during the 18th century. According to the history, Ali Wardi Khan had become the Nawab of Bengal in April 1740 after defeating and killing Sarfiraz Khan. Sarfiraz's brother-in-law, Rustam Jung, challenged Ali Wardi Khan but failed in his endeavors, which prompted him to seek the help of the Maratha rulers of Nagpur, Raghoji Bhosle. A Maratha cavalry was sent by Bhosle who entered Bengal through Panchet and started looting the countryside. These Maratha men came to be known as Borgis. For about 10 years, they looted and plundered Bengal. It ended in the year 1751 after a settlement was reached between the Nawab of Bengal and Maratha King. During one of these encounters, Gorponchokot Palace was attacked by the Borghese and having defeated the king's guards, 
they destroyed it after looting and plundering the palace. Gorponchakot Palace collapsed into ruins ever since. Muradi or Boronti Lake is a small, quiet and scenic place in the vicinity of Ramchandrapur irrigation project. The area is surrounded with splash green forests of mainly Shal, Tamal, Sonajuri, Polash, a big natural lake and few elegant hills. The sunrise or sunset view from this point is absolutely mesmerizing. As the sun sets on another day of exploration, join me in the next episode as we unravel more hidden gems and cultural treasures. Until then, stay tuned and if you like this video, please like, comment and share the video. Also subscribe to our channel if not done already and click on the bell icon for getting notified every time we upload a new video. Stay safe and take care.